superior lead talus is involved in anchor joint, inferior lead talus. Talus is involved in um, subtalar joints. And now, finally, the anteriorly talonavicular joints between talus and navicular. Here, this is the navicular bone. So you have talus and navicular. And the joint here is talonavicular joint anteriorly. One last time, superiorly ankle joint between tibia, fibula, and talus. Inferiorly, subtalar joint between talus and calcanus. Anteriorly, talonavicular joint between talus and navicular. Okay? Okay. Mm. So before we move on, let's check talus. Here you have parts. And of course, superiorly, um, superiorly, this part right here, superior tuclear surface articulates with inferior articular surface of tibia. Okay, this is just general stuff. It's part of the ankle joint. We don't need to discuss all of those things, but it has tuclear surface. It has medial malleolar facet and lateral malleolar facet. Okay? Medial malleolar facet and lateral malleolar facet. This is medial to articulate with medial malleolus of tibia. This is lateral malleolar facet to articulate with lateral malleolus of fibula. Okay? That's superior. You have the neck of talus and you have the head of talus and this is the body okay again top layer medial malleolar facet lateral malleolar facet neck of talus head of talus body of talus okay we know superiorly how what it articulates with in ankle joint. The head of talus is involved in the talonavicular joint. Head of talus is involved in talonavicular joint. And then you have the, the inferior surfaces articulars. First, you have posterior calcaneal articular surface. Why calcaneal? Because we know calcanus attaches here. And you have middle calcaneal articular surface. Middle calcaneal. Articular surface, middle calcaneal articular. Okay, this is just some information about the joints involved in talus and uh, more info for you to tell seriously about talus and calcaneus. Okay, um, what's the main function of the talus? The main function of the talus is to transmit forces from tibia to heel bone, calcaneus. To transmit forces from tibia to the heel bone. Or the calcanus. Uh, one more time. Transmit forces from tibia to the calcanus. From tibia to the calcanus. Mm -hmm. okay. One more information about talus. It is wider anterior uh, it is wider anteriorly compared to posteriorly to give stability of the ankle. So posterior here is small. Anteriorly here it's wider than the posterior to give stability of the ankle. Okay. Um, to give stability of the ankle joint or just ankle? Just ankle or ankle joint, it's okay. Mm, okay. Ankle is, is that okay. So this is this is the talus. Question, does any muscle attach to it? No, no muscle attachment here. 
on this bone. No muscle attachment, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. The next bone is calcanus. The next bone is calcanus. The next bone is calcanus. Calcanus. It's a weird shape bone, actually. Calcanus is the largest tarsal bone. It's the largest tarsal bone. Largest tarsal bone. Which lies below the talus. Which lies below the talus. Lies below the talus. It has two articulations. Superiorly and anteriorly. Two articulations, superiorly and anteriorly. Superiorly and anteriorly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Superiorly and anteriorly. Okay. Now, superiorly. It's involved in the subtalar joint. Subtalar joint between talus and calcanus. Superiorly involved in the subtalar joint between talus and calcanus. Anteriorly. It's involved in the calcano-cuboidal joint. Calcano-cuboid joint, which is between calcanus and cuboid. Let's get it out here. Calcano-cuboidal, yeah. Calcano-cuboidal joint. Mm -hmm. See, do not confuse. Look, look at the structure of the foot. What articulates with navicular? The talus. Calcanus, it, look at it, it articulates with cuboid. Calcanus, cuboid. Talus, navicular. Okay? Easy? See? Talus, navicular, calcanus, cuboid. So anteriorly, yes. the calcanus articulates with cuboid in the calcano cuboidal joint. Neil? Mm -hmm. it pro uh, the calcanus protrudes posteriorly. It protrudes, and it goes here, look, post protrudes posteriorly and takes the weight of the body as the heel hits the ground when walking. Uh, protrudes posteriorly and takes... Uh... Takes the weight of the body mm -hmm. during walking. during walking and the posterior aspect of calcanus is marked by the calcaneal tuberosity the posterior aspect of calcanus is marked by the calcaneal tuberosity what's the clinical importance of this tuberosity is that the Achilles, Achilles tendon is attached here. The Achilles tendon is, is a big tendon in the leg. Achilles tendon, if you touch above your heel, you will feel a tendon. And this is called Achilles tendon. And it attaches here. Uh, this is the strongest uh, tendon yes. in the body. Yes. Exactly. The strongest tendon in the body is attached here to the calcaneal tuberosity of the calcanus, which protrudes posterior. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right, right, and uh, sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat like posterior calcaneus aspect and blah blah blah. 
Yes, the posterior aspect of the calcaneus is marked by the calcaneal tuberosity. Is marked by the calcaneal tuberosity. So the posterior aspect it protrudes backwards and it ends with the calcaneal tuberosity where the Achilles tendon attaches. That's the point. This is where it attaches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is you're done with talus calcanus. If you say this about talus and calcanus, you're good, except you have just some points uh, for calcanus. You can talk about further, just like we said for talus, the articular surfaces. Superiorly, superiorly, you have posterior talar articular surface. Posterior talar. The first one, posterior talar. On the superior aspect of calcanus, we have posterior talar articular surface. Then we have middle talar articular surface. Posterior, middle, and then you have anterior. Posterior, middle, anterior. This is on the superior aspects. In the talo, the sorry, the subtalar joint. These are involved in the subtalar joint. Okay. Anteriorly, you have articular surface for cuboid, which is involved in the calcano-cuboidal joint. It's anterior, yes. This is anterior, yes. And finally, as we said, we have protruding posteriorly is the calcaneal tuberosity for the attachment of Achilles tendon. And these bones, in in total, as we said, and as our notes said, they, they help in bearing the maximum uh, weight of the body by transferring the um, weight from the tibia vitalis to the calcaneus, and then the calcaneus transfers the weight to the heel, the posterior aspect, okay? So Excuse me, can you repeat this about the anterior, uh, anterior surface? Yes, the anterior surface is the articular surface for cuboid and it is involved in the calcano-cuboidal calca uh, calcano joint with the cuboid bone. Okay? Yeah, thanks. Okay, this is, this is first of related to the uh, uh, point of the oral. Talus calcanus, check. You're good. You finished one point now. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's continue our talking about bones of the foot, okay? Now you have intermediate group or in intermediate row. As we said, tal uh, talar, talus uh, bones or talar, uh, talus bones, no, tarsal bones, proximal, intermediate, and distal, okay? The intermediate contains one bone. Intermediate group contains or intermediate row contains one bone, which is the navicular. Here, you see, we have proximal, intermediate, and then we have distal. And the intermediate is made up of the navicular bone. Navicular bone. Okay, why is this bone important? And this is why when you are discussing your, your foot, let him know that you know those details, okay? The navicular, the posterior articular surface for the talonavicular joint that articulates with talus, okay? Has a posterior articular surface that articulates with talus, okay? And anteriorly, it has an, art, an, an, an anterior articular surface that articulates with the three cuneiform, with the three cuneiform, medial, intermediate, lateral. Okay, so we know posteriorly with talus, anteriorly with cuneiform, the three of them. What else? There are two more things we need to know about this bone or the intermediate row of the ta uh, tarsal bones. Here, laterally, oh, uh, yes, laterally, it articulates with the cuboid bone. Laterally, articulates with the cuboid bone. Here, 
see here laterally articulates with the cuboid nerve okay and finally finally let me get a connective tissue in here and i will show you finally the navicular inferior surface has a tuberosity i hope they are labeled here inferior surface where is it i hope it's here inferior there we go inferior surface navicular tuberosity on the inferior surface of the navicular what is this important for it is used for the attachment of the tibialis posterior tendon tibialis posterior tendon let me show you let me show you let me show you let me show you here let's i hope we can get muscles in there we go there we go i hope we can attach more almost let's see yes tibialis posterior exactly this this you see where the tibialis posterior comes here it passes by and says hello to the navicular on the navicular tuberosity that i just showed you and this tendon is called tibialis posterior tibialis posterior and the tibialis posterior tendon attaches onto this bone the navicular or the navicular tuberosity on the navicular okay let's just remove the muscle so that we don't scare you now that's the intermediate row easy hopefully yeah yeah okay i know a lot of details but it's good this is three this is three points in the same girls you're studying three points in the same one so don't uh, don't stress like you're finishing three points at the at the same time i will i will maybe at the end show you how we can answer one 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 and and it'll be way easier for you oh yeah it would yeah. be great yeah, you're now describing only the three three points at the same time. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we have distal group or distal row of the tarsal bones, which is made up of medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform, and the cuboid. And the cuboid. The, the cuboid has a groove on it inferiorly that is an attachment of the tendon of fibularis longus, the muscle fibularis longus. That's the cuboid here. Fibularis longus attach here on the cuboid inferior surface. Okay. The cuneiforms, they they are, as we know, of course, when you talk about the cuboid, because we mentioned it earlier, I'm just going to say, it, don't try it. Cuboid articulates posteriorly with what? Calcaneus. Anteriorly with what? Metatarsis. The fifth and the fourth metatarsis. That's the new thing. Anteriorly, it articulates with the fifth and the fourth metatarsis. And, and um, posteriorly with the Calcanus. Uh, with fourth and fifth meta uh, metatarsal bones. Yes, bone. fourth and fifth metatarsal bones. <clears throat> what about the cuneiforms? They articulate posteriorly with the navicular. They articulate posteriorly with the navicular and anteriorly with the first three metatarsals. The medial one articulates with metatarsal number one. 
the medial cuneiform articulates with the metatarsal number one. The intermediate cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform articulates with metatarsal number two. And finally, the lateral cuneiform articulates with the metatarsal number three. Okay. Um, uh, metatarsal number three, of oh, what it was? Uh, lateral, lateral cuneiform. Here. Oh, lateral. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And just to just to uh, remember that tarsals or tarsal bones, especially the distal and the, no, the distal and the med uh, the intermediate, they are attachment of tendons, like we see for uh, navicular, it's the attachment of the uh, fibularis longus, and for the cuboid, it's the attachment of the uh, posterior tibialis. Okay. Um, just know that muscles here or tendons attached to the space. You don't need to know all of those details. So, so each of the foot bone has attachment with the tendons or muscles, right? Uh, not each of them, but we know navicular, cuboidal, medial and lateral cuneiforms have attachment to tendons. Medial and lateral have attachment to tendons, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we finish distal group. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about is metatarsal. The metatarsal. And we are so, soon done. Yeah, don't worry. The metatarsals are between tarsals and phalanges. And they're one to five. Medial to lateral. One to five, medial to lateral between tarsals and phalanges. They are numbered one to five, medial to lateral. They are made up of head, neck, shaft, base. Head, neck, shaft, base. And we are talking distally to proximally here. We have head, neck, shaft, and base. Okay? Head. What does it mean, base? Oh, what? Base is just the base. Ah, base. Okay, yeah. yeah sorry. Head, neck, shaft, and base. Proxim uh, distally to proximally, be careful. The head is more distally, okay? The base is proximally, okay? And shaft is proximally. Shaft is proximal, yes. So when we're talking about proximal to distal, base, shaft, head, neck, most distally, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we want to talk about the articulations. They have three or four articulations, okay? Articulations means they're involved with a joint somehow. And this is good for you for talking about uh, bone uh, joints of the foot. And see, where you're mentioning bones a little bit, that's the point for the bones. We're mentioning joints, po uh, points for the point of the joints, okay? Proximally, for the metatarsals, they are involved with tarsometatarsal joint between tarsal bones and metatarsal bones. So these ones, these are tarsometatarsal joints here, proximally. Tarsometatarsal joints, okay? Between tarsal bones and metatarsal bases. Tarsal bones and metatarsal bases. Okay, tarsal joints. 
laterally here. Oh, metatarsal base? Yes. Bases? Yes, okay. exactly, because we know that bases are proximal. So the most proximal part of metatarsals are the bases. Okay. <laughs> Next thing, laterally, here, laterally, laterally. Yeah. Intermetatarsal joints between metatarsals and adjacent metatarsals. Intertarsal joints between metatarsal and adjacent metatarsal. It's intermetatarsal joints, right? Inter intermetatarsal joints. Okay. Okay. Distally here. Metatarsophalangeal joints. Metatarsophalangeal joints here. Between head of metatarsals, head of metatarsals, and proximal phalanges. Proximal phalanges. Okay? Mm. One last point. One last point, and we are done with three points. The phalanges. Phalanges. Phalanges, we know. The same points. Phalanges. They are made up of from second to third uh, to fifth toe, from second to fifth toe, proximal intermediate distal. Proximal intermediate distal phalanges. Except for the big toe, only proximal and distal. And what how what are the phalanges consist of? Base shaft head. Base shaft head. Base shaft head. Base shaft head. And you guys are done. This is this is just the this is talus calcanus. This is bones of the foot. This is joints of the foot. Okay. Um, any questions? Tell me, what are you guys thinking? Um, <laughs> maybe I have a question, but um, like uh, uh, only for a topic with bones and generally, can we just name the all all bones and uh, finish with this topic? Or we also should like mention their functions, their uh, features, etc. Um, maybe you know what? Just what I want you to do to answer your question. I will answer it for with how I will answer. After you rest for ten minutes now in a bit, I want you guys to uh, just while resting or from now. Now we have five minutes plus ten minutes break. Take fifteen minutes to read what we wrote. Okay. In the 20 minutes, I will tell you exactly how I'm going to answer related to the three points separately so that you're not confused. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then maybe one of you can volunteer to tell me everything you know about the three points, and then we're done. But mm -hmm. to answer your question now quickly, when he says bones of the foot generally, you are able to say the names of the, of the bones, but you need to use anatomical uh direction so that he knows that you know where they are located you know for example i when i started saying and speaking i said superiorly the most superior uh, tarsal bone is the talus articulates and takes part in the ankle joint uh, and uh, superiorly and then you say posteriorly or no inferiorly it takes part in the subtalar joint between talus and calcanus and then anteriorly it takes part in the uh, talonavicular joint between uh, talus and navicular. It's nice that you are mentioning also the joints in this answer because like the more information you give him, it's not a dry speech. For me as Haytham, if he asks me bones of the foot or joints of the foot, I would just combine those two and say the same answer because he'll be happy with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. He'll be happy with you. But I will tell you exactly how to answer them. Don't worry. Now, uh, it's, it's three minutes left on this timer. 
uh, take three minutes from this and then 10 minutes, so 13 minutes in total. Just I want you to read everything we wrote, try to memorize it, and then I will go over it again alone as I speak. And then maybe one of you can say it or two of you, doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. All right. I will see you guys in 13 minutes. Okay. Thanks.